Hi, I'm Daniel. Hi, I'm Alana. Welcome to Sweden and Swedish University Studies. In this video, we're going to introduce you how academic studies work in Sweden. It may be a little bit different from what you're used to from your home country, but don't worry, you'll soon get the hang of it. University studies in Sweden is less about sitting in classroom, listening to teachers and more about doing your own studies, either by yourself or together with your classmates. This means a great deal of personal responsibility and you need to plan your studies well. Our student counselor is going to tell us more about that. At a Swedish university, you often study one course at a time, which means you can fully focus on one subject before you move on to the next. Usually you have less scheduled time in the classroom and more independent study time. This means you can study when and wherever you want, but it also means you need to be more organized to be successful in your studies. But how do you do that? Well, first of all, you have the course syllabus. Start by reading it through because it gives you a really good overview of what the course is about. The content of the course, the goals and expectations, and the literature that's expected to be read during the course. It also gives you the requirements needed to pass for the exam. So all this is good to know in advance and it helps you really prepare for the course. It's also a good idea to attend the lectures, even if they're not mandatory. It will provide you with a good overview and orientation of the subject. And when you're in the lectures, take notes. You can make your own summaries and write in your own words. This will really help you remember the material better. Sometimes it feels that there is not enough time. How can I use my time more efficiently? Well, stress is often caused by a lack of planning. So a weekly schedule is a really good way to make sure that you keep up with your studies. You can start out by adding your lectures and then make sure you add enough time for your own studies. And if you can't plan for the whole week, just start with a few days. Read through the course syllabus for a good overview of the course. Attend the lectures. It will give you valuable insight into the subject. Take notes and write them in your own words. Plan your week in advance and include time for your own studies. In Sweden, there's a variety of different teaching methods. Often there's a combination of these methods in each course. For example, labs, lectures, seminars, and group assignments. Lectures give you an idea of what is the most essential within the subject and how the different parts connect. The teaching climate is open-minded and informal. You're encouraged to ask questions, make your own reflections and contributions. It will often result in interesting discussion where different viewpoints are heard. Sometimes the teaching process takes place in a small group of students with the teacher leading the discussion, so-called seminars. Group assignments occurs in almost all courses. It gives you the opportunity to work with different people, with different backgrounds and different approaches. Lectures give you a valuable overview of the subject. You are expected to evaluate and analyze the information given in lectures. A seminar provides a setting for a discussion between a small group of students and a teacher. You are expected to be an active participant and give and receive constructive criticism. Group assignments are an important aspect of university studies. You develop problem-solving skills and practice teamwork. Labs and internships enable you to practice your skills. In most courses, an online platform is used as an information and communication tool. So now we are on the way to meet our professor. Hello. How are you guys? Good. Hi, good. How are you? Yeah. So how do you evaluate what we have learned in the course? Well, uh, there are several different ways to evaluate students' knowledge gained through the course. Um, commonly, each course is completed with an exam. But what we usually do is that we use a combination of different examination methods in our courses. Can you tell us more about it? Sure. A uh, standard form of examination uh, is a written exam. It can also be done verbally. Uh, what happens is that uh, if a student fails the first try of the exam, there will be a second chance after a while. We also have something called home exam, uh, for which you are required to answer the questions in a more detailed way in comparison to the written exam. Other forms of evaluations that we have um, are writing essays lab reports, doing research projects, and for which you are required to write research papers. And usually what happens is that you are required to work in a group for those types of evaluations. 
This feels like hard work. Are there any shortcuts? You mean like cheating? Absolutely not. We take cheating very seriously. Those who plagiarize may face suspension from their education for a period of time. You are not permitted under any circumstances to take other people's ideas and works and present them as your own. Uh, if you want more information, there are uh, guiding principles available on the correct format and current, correct style of referencing, which you can use to understand more about plagiarism. Okay, we get the picture. Thank you. You're welcome. And good luck with your exams. Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye. Bye. A written exam is a time-limited test of the course content. Exams can also be oral. Home exam means that you can do the test at home with access to a computer and literature. A lab report is a presentation of the results that were obtained in experiments. There are many different types of written assignments. You'll often be evaluated on your written work throughout the course. Developing your academic writing skills is an essential part of university studies. University studies is not only hard work, but it's a lot of fun as well. There's always something going on. You meet a lot of new people and make new friends. We hope that this film has given you some insight of what it's like to study at a university in Sweden. Finally, we want to wish you a very warm welcome to Sweden and wish you good luck with your university studies. Hello. Hey